In early May, information about a strong explosion and smoke in the center of Moscow on the night of May 3rd appeared on social media in Russia. Later, the press service of the President of the Russian Federation stated that Ukraine allegedly attempted to strike the Kremlin. According to the claims of Russians, two unmanned aerial vehicles were aimed at the Kremlin, but thanks to the use of electronic warfare equipment, the military and special services disabled the drones. Reports indicate that Russian President Putin was unharmed because he was not in the Kremlin at the time of the alleged attack. The press secretary of the Russian president, Dmitry Peskov, stated that the incident was an assassination attempt on Putin on the eve of Victory Day and the parade on May 9. He also stated that Russia reserves the right to respond to this attack where and when it deems necessary. However, no evidence of Ukraine's involvement in the incident has been presented. Video footage from a surveillance camera captured the passage of the exploding device over the Kremlin, and in another video, flames can be seen over the dome of one of the towers. All unmanned aerial vehicle flights were banned in Moscow, except for those used by state authorities. The spokesperson for President Zelensky, Sergei Nikiforov, denies information about night attacks on the Kremlin. He emphasized that Ukraine is directing all its forces and resources towards the liberation of its own territories, not the attack of others. Nikiforov noted that terrorism is destroyed homes and other tragedies, and what happened in Moscow, in his opinion, was an escalation of tensions before May 9th. Friends, if you are interested, support the channel by subscribing and like, we are trying for you, see you soon, all the best to you.